Legends are running high in Las Vegas. In the $2,500 No Limit Hold'em event of the World Series of Poker, it's code red for Romain Lewis. There are less than 50 players left in the field, but our team Winamax Pro is in the danger zone after a big coin flip brought him down to less than 10 blinds. Every move could be his last. Romain will need some luck to get out of this one. My friend Arthur over there is doing really well, got more than 1.2 million. I can see him going far on this tournament, just hopefully he doesn't bust me out. That's all I'm asking for, bruv. Alright, blind on blind, small blind completes. It's this weird blind level where you can't really fold a small blind. I mean, it's giving ridiculous odds. You have 5,000 to put in a 45,000 pot, so... I just believe that any hand is going to complete here and it's very easy to jam so it kind of gives me want to get aggressive with any hand the big blind make could be trapping a lot so I don't know, let's start with a check and now it's come seven four deuce I mean there's some cards that I could continue barreling here I like the idea of betting ripping a four seven straight away he puts his queen highs or his king highs if he has some in the, a weird spot it's important for me to get these small ports when I have a short stack and uh, okay not good news is check calling really quickly it's just kind of weird because I believe just check raise a seven or a four and ah that ace isn't great maybe check calls some ace highs some traps he had and I have no aces whatsoever no one has an ace here maybe I can just check back try and rep a four or a seven and see what happens on the river Okay, the river's a five, and... Okay, checks again. I kind of believe he has, like, a really weak holding. Something I could do, sort of weird four. I think I could have a lot of fives as well to get here. I don't see him having a seven. I think he would have bet and played differently a seven for sure. Now, for me, it's tough to have bluffs as well. I mean, I'm not going to be betting too many hands on the flop, and this five I could have a lot. So I'm going to try and rep a five or a seven. Maybe even a good four here because. Oh, it's just gone to snap on me. Okay, this can't be a Wait, what's he got? Oh, wow, just the deuce. He just snap calls me a deuce. Okay. Maybe I didn't have too many information on my player there. Um, I should. Uh... <sighs> it's a tough one to get snap called by the deuces. It's exactly the sort of hand I wanted to make fold, so I can't feel terrible about it, but basically out of this tournament now, four blinds left. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do I need more than an ace and a seven with uh Yeah, something like four bigs. Alright, at least I'm playing in the big blind. A7 against practically any two cards. Could he fold from time to time? He could. I mean if he looks at the very worst hands in Texas Holden, he could definitely fold, but look happy about it which I'm ecstatic about oh wow he's folded that is brilliant that is brilliant I just basically double my stack without showdown here fantastic Seven blinds, I got connected, suited, 
cards here. I mean, I've got a bit more full equity than before. It's not the best and the easiest shove in the world because I could just get called and have not much equity, but at the same time, it's tough to see a hand really dominating me that calls me apart from A6 or A7 in the big blind. I'm going to take this spot and hopefully I'll get five players to fold, which is <laughs> never easy. And then worst case scenario, I have the equity of my hand. Let's go. Okay, the first couple get away, this is good. Alright, folded to the small blind, this is perfect. Okay, no, that's no good, it's called real quick in the small blind, must have got Queen Jack. Oh, I'm alive, I'm alive, it's going to be tough to stay in this one, but I'm alive. I've got my flush draw, I've got my seven, my six, let's hit something on this flop. Ah, uh, this is, does right not color. look good, and he's got a spade, oh, this is, is a, right wow, color. six of hearts on the turn, can you okay. blank it out? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> the six of hearts, very nice, very nice. It's got my heart racing again. I'm back in the game, baby. I'm back in the game. Well, obviously, I'm not king of the castle yet, but these 13 blinds definitely feel very good. Arturito. Goes for the raise here, my good buddy. All the way from Pampol. I just looked down at Ace King on the button. Wow. Alright, well, I've got 10, 11 blinds. I'm against my good mate, but the situation is very nice very profitable he could call me with so many worse hands here like i put myself in a great situation to go back to 20 blinds i'm obviously all in here these sort of situations it's uh, tough to be in when we know each other so well, but we have the same passion, we play the same game, we're going to play the same tournaments and sometimes we're just going to have to play against each other, that's the, that's the rule of poker. It seems like he's got a tough decision over here, Arthur. It's not easy, I mean I have 10 blinds, a lot of people call 10 blinds off because it's 10 blinds and they've raised, but at these moments of these situations in tournaments you've got to be really sure of your calls, you've got to be really sure of where you want to put the money in, you don't have to always go and grab the tiny percentages of maths that tell you oh this is a call because you win maybe you're one blind or half a blind or you've got to be really happy about your situation you're not going to be in this spot too many times in your life so i can understand that he wants to fold something here if he's raised like some sort of offsuit a some ace eight some ace nine it feels really poor like am i really jamming king queen here i think he's got one of those decisions definitely doesn't have a pair and he definitely doesn't have like ace queen I think he can get away from something big here well folded Arthur well folded I'll tell you after it's well done I'm happy with it I got ace king I see no cards in the middle I collect more chips poker right poker just goes at incredible speeds come on one more double up and I'm really really back into this tournament Alright, nice jack, 15 lines, a bit less. 
easy decision for me. All in. Sorry for all in. Take the blinds. I will take them with pleasure. Could I maybe fold my way to the final table? Not sure, but I can try. Okay, it's folded over to me in the small blind I've looked down at Jack do suited. I mean ten blind that's gonna be enough. I'm not happy about it. The, my buddy in the big blind looks good enough to call the good ranges, but I mean less than ten blinds, what am I gonna do? Suited Jack. I know that it's good enough now, just hopefully fold this one. Fold it, go away, you don't need it. Oh my god, we're gonna play a race. I've got Jack Deuce and I'm up against King Four. Alright. Not the same suit, at least this time, maybe I can get a sort of flush, I need a pair, I need something. Oh my god, it's not feeling good. Wow! Okay, man. We got you, there again, we got there, there again. Got there again. <laughs> the cameras, guys, there's That's a film okay. in the making over here, there's a film in the making. <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. right. Let's not get carried oh, over, it's only a nine or eight big blind double up. But it feels amazing to get there again. On the river this time. Wow. Got some breathing space here now. I'm in the big blind. I've got my to 400k, I mean, 10x my stack in pretty much short amount of time. Raise. Cut off opens here to a min raise, and uh, I look down at 10 8 offsuit. It's not the best hand in poker, but I think I can defend here profitably. Okay, 10 9 6 is a good flop for my hand, of course. I've got the top pair. I mean, what am I going to do against the bet here? It sort of depends on the sizing. It doesn't seem too happy about this flop. No, I've just gone for a really quick check back. Just good news for me. Hopefully, anything under 10. Yeah, that's another good card. I'm going to bet out of it now. I've got some value. I've got some protection. I'm happy to take the pot straight away. I mean, there's really more than 120k in there. I want to bet. Sizing that goes along with all, all my bets here. I'm never going to bet too small this turn. I think it's a mistake to bet anything less than half pot. I want to bet at least half pot. Even if I had a six or a nine, I, I would go for the bigger sizing. Maybe I can get some value off some flash draws to check back. Maybe a hand like a seven, a eight. Of course, any nine that checks back is calling me here. Maybe you can have Jack 10, Queen 10, but no, it's giving up. That's nice. Okay. Et Arthur qui nous fait un bon 15 pour perdu d'affilée là-bas. Il ne doit pas être au top du top, notre frérot. Regardez. Donc 
que des petits pots. Ouais, bah, ouais. ouais. C'est comme ça ces tournois. Il y a le temps pour remonter encore un. Hein. Ah ben. Allez, frère, hein. Ouais, allez. It's been tough for, for Arthur as well this last hour. He's lost a lot of small pots and the quality of his game though, I'm sure. He's going to have some greener luck and he's going to be able to convert it in the next hour or two. It would be good for him at least. I've got to concentrate on myself. That's the most important thing in this tournament. Be back in the moment. Now I've just looked down at his queen. So quite an easy decision for me as well. I mean, I don't have much playability of my stack here. Anything less than 20 blinds, it's an easy three bet shove. Flip earlier on. Can we play an even bigger one now? I figured you did. Exactly what that man just said. 450. <laughs> <laughs> but we know how much it is. We know. We know how much it is. 415, buddy. <laughs> well, the chips fell over. Yeah. <laughs> He seems interested in that. Give it up. I mean, he's got this sort of half laughing face. Doesn't look like a face that wants to gamble with 29 left. I'd love for him to fold the pocket pair this time. Take the free money. I'll take the free money in the middle. Faders, you don't know if you can play a huge pot. Time is so long. Oh wow, he's gonna go for it. Doesn't seem happy about it. I mean, he's never calling me Ace Jack here, so it's off to the pair now. Oh, yes, come on. Take it. <laughs> Okay, I don't think one was raised to 50,000. I'm looking down at King Queen off here. The first thing that comes to my head is a three bet. I mean, it could be a good spot to three bet, but at the same time, that'll cost me a lot. Now, I think I'm going to rep really strong if I call here. It's not an my obvious friend. call. It's a hand that can fold as well from time to time, but the fact is my I don't see him that strong and I okay. see myself as being able to probably trap here quite a lot. Weirdly enough, I don't think everyone's gonna ever bluff me behind. And I can play my 20 blinds. Maybe look like a pretty strong range. It looks something with the open of my opponent here to my right. It doesn't seem very strong but I know I shouldn't be calling King Queen very often here. I should probably place him three bets or fold, but I don't know. Something about his raise seemed pretty weak to me. Jack nine five. I'm obviously not folding against a bet, but he checks quickly. I have two options here. I could place a bet now or check back. I think check back on this board is kind of nice. Check check. I can maybe get him away from a hand later. And oh wow, I've turned it straight. I've turned a straight and that is an amazing turn. He's checked again and there are not many hands here that are going to continue. I think he's going to fold the lock, small pairs and ace x's but if he has a hand like queen 10, queen jack, queen 9, even queen 10 or he's going to call a big size and I think I have to size up a little bit here. 
I think if I don't have many bluffs in this context, it's just hands is going to fold, and I think hands is going to call. And yeah, okay, he's just snap fold this one. It's a bit of a shame. All right, we're back. 25 blinds. Got a bit more than 600k here, and I'm feeling better than ever in this tournament. About half an average. Changing tables again. Come on. Allez, t'es bien? Tranquille, tranquille, allez. 600, 630. À mon plus haut point. Il n'a pas gagné un coup depuis 3 heures. Que des petits coups à chaque fois. Mais... Moi, c'est mieux que le 8 bébé Jeep 3 euh, Indeed. Euh... C'est pas mal, hein? C'est pas mal, hein? Okay. We're good. <rire> non, non, Lynn, quoi? Qu'est-ce que c'est? <rire> Ouais. Il se passe quoi là-dessus Comment On bouge. Euh... Ouais, il rideau 27. Okay. 3 tables lèvres, du coup il rideau tout. Okay. On passe officiellement à la perf à 5 chiffres. Et ça c'est beau. Ça c'est pas dégueu. Ouais, Thibaut est laughing with him because he's used to playing on spinning goes on line, three-handed all the time. I'm like, how is it not being all in every hand and going deep in the tournament? And he thinks it's fun, we all do. We're 27 left. We're three tables of. Uh, Big WSLP event, I mean, it's exactly for these sort of moments that take a flight, travel across the Atlantic and place ourselves two months in Vegas. It's for these moments, three tables left, a bracelet to go get. Come on. What did he do with mine? Just tell me now. Oh my God, he did it to the guy. He, he, he looked at four sided. With the race of the car, he look at far side and he go all oh, in. Yeah. We're 20 off the money and I ripped in. Like, <laughs> and the guy, his guy had aces. I just looked at one. Snap it off and he, he, he made the nice aces with the night Oh, wow. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like this style. I ripped, man. <laughs> the table just can't believe it. <laughs> laughing about a hand at the bubble yesterday, where something crazy like nine deuce um, cracked some pocket aces and. It's obviously traumatic for the person that loses and pretty funny for everyone else. That was a sick good enough hand to call with no banana, but not good enough for the person. That's why you should look where you have walked. That's a good hand for me here, Ace Jack suited. Going to come in for a raise at this new table. I've played against quite a few of these guys before now in the tournament. I've got a good idea. At least on half of them. I mean, it's less than 10 blinds. I'm never going to be able to afford those jacks too to here. It's a bit tough because it's a big part of my stack. And we could really just easily have ace king or ace queen here, but I've got less than 200,000 to call, and the pile's going to be like 560, so I'm really priced in here. I've got an okay hand. It's not as if I have like ace nine off or something. Ugh, turns around, ace queen, not the one I wanted to see. Come on. Club maybe, no, now only a jack. Ah, they're tough, these tournaments, they are tough. You get going, you're taken back to your players, get going again, back to the 10 lines. All right, I'm back, I'm back, got my 15 lines. I've had a few lives in this tournament, so I can lose a few lines, there's no problem. As long as I win the last one. As long as I win the last one.
big blind here, looking down at a seven off. It's a tough hand again because I've got like 13 blinds and it's not really a hand I want to defend because not many flops are going to be advantageous for me. When I hit an ace, okay, he'll give me maybe one bet, maybe two. But I have a feeling if I move all in here, I have some fold equity, he can fold some hands. He's got that stack and he's obviously calling me with better, but imagine he folds here. I can get maybe some queen jack, some queen ten to fold. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm all in. Wow, oh, snap fold, I didn't imagine that. 12, 13 blinds, okay, from the cat off, that's good. Really important for me. J'ai, genre, un peu moins de 15, man. Ah oui, comme... Euh, Depuis comme longtemps. Madrid, du coup. Ouais. Ça va, ta table, elle est bien On vient de changer de table, mais elle a l'air pas si mal. Elle a l'air pas si mal. Elle a l'air pas si mal. Ouais, tranquille. On, Allez On rush quasiment à mon point Ça va vite, tournoi, ça, quand même. Donc, euh, ouais, 27. 27, ça va se ralentir un peu, quand même. Mais, euh, genre, dans la première demi-heure, il y a eu 50 busts. Et après, ça s'est ralenti bien. Mais voilà, ouais. il y a encore Arthur aussi. Arthur, Adri... Euh... Il est où, Arthur Arturito, il J'ai est... vu Adri derrière, hein euh, Ah, j'ai pas été voir. Ah, je sais pas, il est Arthur. Il était énorme et il a perdu plein de coups d'affilée à ma table. Adri à 15-20 aussi. Otone Ouais, non, c'est cool, c'est cool, c'est cool, bonne innovation déjà, on commence à être ouais. pas si loin, trois tables left, let's go. Ouais. Ouais. T'as mon tonning Toujours là Oui, petit. Ah, vous avez le cul cassé Bah ben, c'est ça, non, on change pas. Ah, ouais. J'ai genre 13, 14 blindes. 13, 13, 14. 14, 15. Je fais un shove là. J'étais passé sur putain. Open cut off, j'ai genre 11 blindes en bébé, 11 blindes en A 7 off. A 7 off celui. Il avait un stack. A 7 off, A 7 off. Bébé, je me suis dit, il y a pas mal. Je passe défense et casse couille. Ouais, c'est... Ouais, je pense ça, hein. je pense ça. Ouais. Mmh. C'est la faute bien Snapfold, je crois. <rire> Même pas un demande de compte ou quoi. A few friends coming in the rail. It's nice to have a bit of a disconnection chat to them. Two meters away from the table, nothing was happening anyway. But now I've got to dive straight back into my game. Any hand can be really crucial here. Okay, it's raised from the cutoff, a big tank on the button, and a call. Maybe it's a handy one to fold, and the small blind comes around really quickly here. I mean, I think if I jam, the small blind folds all the time. I think the cutoff can fold from time to time. The button, what was he hesitating on? Did he want a three bet or did he want to fold? I think it's an okay spot here. I'm not so sure. I mean, if I had like 24, 23 blinds, it'd be easier, but hit with 15 blinds, it seems like. It would be a miracle for all three to fold, but I mean, the small blind paid so quickly, it doesn't look like I get as much. The button I'm not sure about, and the cutoff, like, when he opened, I think I saw something that. Yeah, I'm all in. All in? Okay, snap fold from the cutoff, that is important. Now, can both players fold? This would be really, really. Amazing for my tournament. I win like 50. Oh, fold it. Oh no, a snap call from the small guy. I didn't believe that. Oh, yes, but it. Okay, so the button like the fold and the way the small guy called, I thought he was dead money, but then no, I got him his read wrong. Oh, that's got to be the end of Oh my god, an ace again on the turn in this tournament. Wow. Well, I play my equity here. Maybe not the best play this time. I'm not too sure. I didn't think the small guy would call me the way you call preflop, but. 
Oh wow, we got lucky here, very lucky. I've got more than a million ships now. 27 players left and I've got more than a million. Alright. God, I'm hesitating, was that a really good play to jam here? Maybe I should have just defended my small blind, but it is hard. I mean, fold button, fold cutoff, that was perfect. If I knew that was happening, of course I would have jammed, but... Oh, well, at least... He's taking it with a smile, it's nice to have a... Opponents taking bad beats with a smile doesn't happen all the time. Open in the cutoff. Okay, I'm playing against the big blind here who I've seen play a few times. I mean, seems quite serious, even if his smiley smoking face doesn't look like the most serious type of cardigan. <laughs> Seems like a pretty serious player. I've seen him play a few hands before. A6-4, really not the best flop for my hand, but it's a flop I'm going to see better here with Jack-10. I can make a lot of just king highs and queen highs fold. Don't think he's gonna respond with a chick raise too often. Doesn't look like wants to fold, it's a bit of a shame. It would've been easy spot for him to fall straight away now I don't I never have two easy barrels in the turn but here a queen queen makes me want to bluff again I mean it's the situation where I think I can make a six or a four fold straight away now and the question is do I barrel a third time to make a small ace fold on the river can I check back the turn now maybe rep something like a queen but then he has too many obvious bluffs in the river and now I can make fold just hands that would bluff me on the river, I can make forward sixes and fours. I'm pretty sure he only carries on with an ace. I'm gonna bet more than half pot here, I'm gonna go like 60%. It's a really important pot for me and... I'm still hesitating, I don't know if I'm gonna pull that third or not, it kind of depends here. On a jack or a 10, for sure I'll bluff if he calls. But on other cards it's tough, I mean there are no flush draws out there so he can't call me with some sort of pair and flush draw. Now if he calls, it looks like he's going to. It looks like he has an ace very often and now this is the most important part of my tournament. Ah, oh, it's blank, blanked off a three, an absolute blank. The thing is now, I think as he folds sixes and fours before, he only comes to the river with an ace. But at the same time, if I three barrel here, it's really tough for him to even call a small ace. Maybe he gets there with some two pairs, like ace three, ace four, ace six. That would be annoying. I've got jack high, I can never win at showdown, but at the same time, I don't believe my opponent's gonna fold an ace against me here. I just don't believe it, I'm not on this runner. I've still got about 500. Thousand behind. I've got a pot size bet here. Is it all in or is it check? Is there another sizing? Oh, this is really tough. I can feel my heart racing as well. I, I just believe you will tank for so long and never fold the knees to me on the river. Oh, checking backs just come into my head now, and I never believed I would show down this sort of hand, but I'm gonna give it up. I just don't think he's gonna fold an ace. Oh my god, it shows me a four. That is heartbreaking. Oh wow, I feel absolutely terrible right now. Wow, that is like a dagger in the stomach. I'm pretty sure he was folding all those sort of hands. Well, that one pre-flop, but at least on the turn, and I could never believe he had so many sixes or fours come to the river. If he has that hand, he probably has everything. And I had the most profitable barrel on the river. That is tough. It's really tough to take.
it's tougher than a bad beat. And it's just one of these situations where oh, I regret so much the way I've just played. Why did I not just barrel it off? Oh, okay, I've got to get in the next hand. Next hand is the most important hand, but my God, is it tough to concentrate right now. I can't show the table that I'm tilted, but I definitely am. All right, jack six of clubs. No reason to go crazy here. Oh, God, I still can't let my head around that last hand, but I gotta concentrate on this flop. God, I've got a flush draw. Okay, it's an easy bet for him. He can have a lot of hands that he's just gonna continue here. The reason is ace, king, five. It can be that sort of broad multi barrel bluff by my neighbor but what am I gonna do I got a flush draw here I'm just gonna stick around that's not the turn I wanted to see if my opponent checks here I'll probably check back and take the free card I mean it's not repping much but he's gonna go for another bet looks like a sizey bet as well 105k I'm not happy about it but I believe my outs are good. I'm gonna call again, it's a really important part for my tournament now. I put a club up there, Diva, come on. Damn. Right, the question is now if he checks to have bluff again, I mean, having just not bluffed the hand before, it seems like situation where I have a lot of missed flush draws but oh, it's gone all in right nothing I can do there the roller coaster of emotions that a poker tournament is it's incredible le mec il vient de perdre plein de coups je le voyais un peu frustré et tout je putain je sais pas pourquoi je le voyais pas le mec j'ai check back tu sais ce qui m'a chaud Oh non, il avait pas l'as. Bro, il avait 4 et 2 off. C'est quoi As 6, 2. Oh non, non. <rire> en fait, si t'as pas cru jusque là, il va peut-être pas te croire arriver en retour. Franchement, il est bien arrivé. Là, ouais. Déjà, il va pas cru pré flop Il a pas cru toutes les sprints. Je sais pas pourquoi il croirait à l'arriver sur un 3. Putain. Four deuce half suit. <rire> Comment il se retrouve à défendre Pourquoi Pourquoi, mec il a, il a même pas 30 mains, le gars, tu sais, genre. Il ouais, joue tranquille. quoi Il joue tous les coups si Mais non mec, il joue zéro coup en plus le gars. Le mec c'est un gars qui a 3 bêtes, 4 x contre UTG, moi qui open et UTG 1. Donc en gros avec A3. C'est venu valer 7 machin, où il en a mis une petite. Après il a check back, check back, il perd de 8 à gagner. C'est un mec comme ça, tu sais genre... Euh... Ouais, en bébé il colle tout quoi, il faut, il faut, il faut défendre. Ouais, ouais, ça. A nice little dinner break of Arturito. He's actually made me feel much better than I was feeling before, it's really nice sort of reassured me on my play that or maybe if he didn't believe me until the turn wasn't, believe, wasn't gonna believe me until the river and I don't know it's a tough hand for me to forget but the most important is the hands coming up you know that no projection no anticipation 23 24 players left it's for these moments that I play poker live poker the WSOP bracelet final table it's close and I'm feeling good now I'm back it's a new shot at it I don't feel terrible because of that non bluff just before. suited I mean one player hasn't come back from break yet the player on the button with quite a lot of chips and I've only got like 12 or 13 blinds so I'm not feeling comfortable here but I think I'm gonna have to wager all my chips all in <laughs> Okay, it's folded around quickly. 
brilliant. All right, new tournament, let's go. Got the blinds in for the first hand and I'll be ready to be here all night if I have to. Come on. Spot here, right? It's folded to me, and it's probably and that's an ace, yep. ace and a seven. Okay, wait, good enough for me. Together, you know. <laughs> good enough for me to place all my chips in. Hearts oh, being a bit faster as well. These situations can be called really often by them. Blind and oh no, he snapped it over his queen. Nice queen. Fuck. Need to do it again. All right, I'm gonna need a, another miracle here. The queen and the door. Let's not believe it. I'm dead. I'm dead. It's the end of my tournament. I can't believe it. Ah. Been saved a few times, but it's all over now. <laughs> you know, these situations 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd in poker tournaments, just like the effort compared to what you're paid is, is not the best, but. I'll be here again, I'm sure. I'll just follow you. Okay, I know, right? I've never done this job before. Okay. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a fun run, fun run. Um, so I guess I was supposed to ask you to clear as part yeah, of your idea. Yeah, for sure. It's over is there, that, right? Is that your, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You've done this before. Alright, cheers. Thank you very much. Hi there. Here's my ID. I'm looking for my player's card. It should be somewhere in there. Cheers. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Thanks. Oh, hopefully that wasn't my last cash of my life at the WSOP, but it's my fifth cash of the couple of weeks so far. I'm feeling confident. It took a few weeks and a few tournaments to get really back in the vibe, but that was my first big deep run and a few big tournaments coming up this week. I'm feeling confident. I've got everything on my side now. I'm just believing that the next tournament will be the best. I'm happy with what happened and it's just a shame that it has to end like it has to end, but I've got to accept it. That's poker. Tomorrow is another day. You gave them a run for their money, Romain, having crawled out from the red zone at the beginning of the episode and then rising back to the top of the leaderboard after a series of unbelievable hands to finally fall not so far from a new world championship final table in 23rd place. After collecting your $10,700 winnings, you'll immediately be heading back to battle at the 2021 WSOP. We'll catch up with you a little later. In the meantime, we'll turn our attention to one of your teammates who's also still looking for his first world champion bracelet. You'll be following him in the next episode of Inside the Mind of a Pro.